We've got Caldera in the pink corner. If they win, Supreme Winner, excuse me, Supreme Ruler is headed to the championships. On the other hand, if Turbo Fiend wins, Turbo Fiend's gonna nab that spot. Now, the really interesting thing about the threes is that uh, both Dima Papagian and her brother, Julian Papagian, are still alive in the bracket. If you caught September NHRL, it's almost Five, like deja vu. Four, both Mako three, and Turbo Fiend two, advanced to one. the uh, quarterfinals here, the, the semifinals. Yeah, power siblings, to say the least. They're working their way through. Uh, right off the bat, those forks uh, on Turbo Fiend doing a really good job fending off the horizontal spinner on Caldera. Caldera, though, is just so bulletproof. It continues to run, even if it's bouncing around inside of the box. It's sounding very quiet. I wonder if the weapon on Turbo Fiend is going at 100%. It may or may not be. I'd probably dial it back a little. It could also be that that weapon is just dialed in. A quiet weapon is usually an efficient weapon, if it yeah, is running. very true. Yeah, so yeah, far, all uh, that's of the a control, good pop in the air. All of the control exchanges here are going to Turbo Fiend. Uh, their geometry just makes it so easy for them to get under Caldera. You can see the Papagians here working together. Wow. Julian is driving the mini bot, and they have kicked Caldera behind the house bot. Wow. This is a, wow. Look at that. That framing, them laying in wait, they knew what was gonna happen. Man, I hope we get to see that in a replay. That was incredible. Now you're able to ask for one unstick from the house bot, and that uh, request hasn't come yet from Caldera. Turbo Fiend is really making Glenn sweat here. But they have just stayed on top of Caldera, really dictating the pace of this fight. And really, they are showing uh, the the absolute dominance of this multi-bot uh, design wow. here. Wow, two exchanges in a row there, Luke, that they lost. That could be a change in the tide. At the very least, it was an opening. It doesn't look like they've capitalized on it, though. 70 seconds left here in this fight. Julian Papagian here driving this orange mini-bot is doing an amazing job at getting under Caldera. That is a good pin here. Yeah, fantastic driving on the mini bot. It is just so perfectly designed to take on a robot like Caldera. The uh, the main robot, the larger section of Turbo Fiend, winning some exchanges, but not doing nearly as well as the mini. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the mini bot really is showing amazing control here. But uh, Turbo Fiend, pretty pretty well piloted, staying very close to Caldera this entire fight. Oh, this is an excellent pin. They're going to take the end of this match to show off some control. I noticed the weapon is currently off on Caldera. I don't know if it runs or not. We'll find out at the end of the match. Oh, they're Listen, trying to spin it up. 15 seconds left. I wouldn't be, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be uh, playing it conservatively here, Glenn. you got to fire that weapon up. No, you can see it. It's twitching. It's trying to spin up, but there is some damage He's going on. He's calling for a tap out. Wow. Glenn didn't hit the button though, it's going to go to the judges, but you could see him at the end tapping on the glass. It looks like Dima Papagian could be advancing here. Really that, incredible.